Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be replacing a single phase fan motor. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. This is a fan coil unit with a four pipe system. So we have heating and cooling all year round. During my last visit I determined this was a bad fan motor and today we're going to be replacing it. Control panel is a mess, but the relay closed. We were getting power to this motor. The motor was 200 degrees, completely hot. Capacitor was good, and it won't spin. So that's a bad fan motor. Let's begin by turning off our power. As you can see, the switch is off. And we will determine that with our meter and begin by pulling out this motor. Sitting on a wooden plank. Yeah, so let's begin by Disconnecting our wires. All right, these are our four wires coming into the control panel. One line is neutral, and then we have three speeds. High speed, low speed, and medium speed. So I'm just gonna cut this here. And we could begin by pulling this out. All right, so there's those speeds. Now we can begin by pulling out this whole assembly. So the nuts and bolts is extremely far down. So I got my socket set and I put this extension on my drill. And this is the only comfortable way to really pull this out. If it wasn't for this, that would be impossible, man. All right, looks like this is ready to pull out. <clears throat> All right. All right, that was not easy. Just take a look at this. This looks absolutely <laughs> horrendous. So I pulled this out, made my way to the basement to rebuild this with a brand new fresh motor. All right, so what's holding this motor is in place. We have this bracket, we have three bolts. But before we can take that apart, we have to disconnect the shaft from the squirrel cage blade. And the only thing that's holding that in place is this one uh, screw, this locking screw. So before we can actually pull this, we're gonna sand down the shaft to make our lives easier. Sand down the shaft. Now let's, let's loosen this. Oh wow, that came right off. Let's just free us up a little bit. I'm a huge fan of Klein tools, and this is a multi-bit nut driver. Like, you got pretty much everything you need in here. So, before we could really slide that blade out, I'm just gonna take off these bolts, and there's three of them. Okay, so that's free. I do have a blade puller, a hub puller, front in my bag. I'm just going to try to do this just by hand for now. Oh, it's a lucky day, everyone. This thing came off like butter. Beautiful. Do the same for our new motor. We're going to sand down this shaft so we can slide it in easily into this blade. All right, so let's sand it down. I'm pretty much just going to reverse the process. If 
the bracket doesn't exactly match up with where the rubbers are, just understand there's two holes here and you could just flip them around to see what fits you better. And now we're lined up with the rubbers. And we're just gonna lock this down into place. Then adjust our blower wheel and lock that down as well. So always remember your green wire. It's always gonna be your ground. So we're gonna start by grounding this motor. That's done. Our brown wires are for our capacitor. And those typically come already with these solderless connectors. So it just doesn't really matter where you go. I'll just put one on each end and then we're gonna mount this. I like to reuse this little rubber cap that they have just for like protection. So I kind of just run those through and then I like to connect my capacitor. Remember, one on each end. One there, and one here. Capacitor is now wired. Then, let's slide this down, see if we can possibly get this over. Something like that, just make its way down so it's protected. All right, so that's mounted. It can only go one way. So if we're gonna look closely, this part of the shaft is flat and that's where you wanna line up this screw so it's on the flat part so it really holds. And just make sure that when you adjust this blade, it's not all the way against your motor and it's not all the way against the housing. You want it somewhere in a happy medium so you're not gonna have any uh, scratching when this turns on. So I found a happy medium. And now I can lock down this set screw. So here's just the overview I wanna go over. So here's a capacitor. Got our two brown wires there. Typically our wires are usually brown. Our ground is always green. This one is happens to be yellow and green, but it is our ground screw. You're gonna notice it's a much thinner gauge than your power wires. I do like to use uh, cable ties, but I do not have any but tape will do and i just want to go over this because the other motor did not have that this right here is actually uh, a reversible motor so if your blade happens to be going the other way you would actually flip this around so if you look you can see on each end we got two yellows here and this one has two purples so you would literally just flip this around if you want the opposite direction. All right, we're back up here on the ceiling. Let's, we're gonna mount this. There's four bolts sticking out over there. We're gonna mount this, tighten down our nuts, run the wires, wire everything up, and test everything. It was pretty tight to get this through. Start by running some of these wires through. It's always good to have long wires. So here's the old motor wires, there's four. Here's the new one, there's five, and that's because the new motor has one extra speed. I recommend taking a picture of the motor diagram with your cell phone so you have everything easily accessible in front of you, so it's easy to wire everything up. So the extra wire with the new motor is the yellow, and that is medium low. There's two medium speeds on this motor. The blue is medium high and yellow is medium low. So we're just gonna tape off the yellow and pretty much the rest is color for color. 
Uh, black is typically high speed, blue is typically medium speed, and red is typically low speed, just in general. So we're pretty much going for color for color. So the way we want this to rotate, you can know the rotation by looking at the blade. You want it to scoop the air. All right, I mounted it on the bolt, and now I'm just gonna tighten down the nuts. And this thing is a lifesaver. I really recommend everybody gets this. I'm gonna leave links in the description for all the products used in this video. That right there is a beautiful thing. All right. Job well done. From here, we just gotta put the wires back in the panel. I do not know what happened to the cover. It is completely gone. I can see why they did that because this pipe is in the way and you can't actually open it so whoever was here previously just tossed it out <laughs> and from here we're just going to make sure that we have cooling because we are in the summer season and if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time